Good morning. <clears throat> it's Gary from GH Honeybees. I think it's the 11th of September, 2022. And we've had a really bad time with yellow jackets. And Heather was out here the other day trimming this uh, butterfly bush back. And she got stung. And lo and behold, there's a, a nest right here in this tree. So what I'm going to try and do is slip a plastic bag around that and then pull it down off the branch. And of course I've got all my gloves and stuff and protection on so let's see. Can I get you set down there where you can see this? I think that's good. a lot of activity out of it. But... Oh, that's ball face hornets. Oh. Well, maybe I'll just leave them alone. They're not hurting anything. Yeah, those are ball face hornets. They're okay. <laughs> I'm just going to leave them there. I thought that was a yellow jacket strap. These guys don't bother the bees. They actually go after the yellow jackets themselves. So we're just going to leave that alone. But I will show you. Hmm. Interesting. Just have to stay away from that bush. I'm going to show you. jackets that are in that one. I don't know if it's sitting there. Get out of the sun. But these are really effective traps. I gotta put that bait's all dried up. I gotta put some fresh bait in there. These are homemade. It's got a top plate with a three inch hole in it for a lid so you can empty it out and then there's a one inch hole in the bottom and here, undo the, and this is just a mayonnaise jar you can see a one inch hole in that jar lid just stapled to the bottom and then I've got uh, around the base here I've got uh, three sixteenths holes. I got eight of them. And there's a I made a cone out of hardware cloth that goes in the middle. And the bees, the yellow jackets go in here after the bait. And they go up and they go up through that cone and then they get stuck in this upper area. And they can't get out. So, but that bait is dried up. And my bait is uh Peach slices. The yellow jackets love the peach slices. This was a new trap I made the other day. And look at the yellow jackets that are in that one. Yeah, they all need fresh bait. It's been really hot, so the bait doesn't last long. And I've got uh, galvanized nails driven into the legs just so you can anchor it in the ground so the wind doesn't knock it over. And this is a, a smaller one. Look at the yellow jackets that are in there. And yes, I can set them as close to the hive as necessary. Um, the bees, they couldn't care less about the, the, uh, the peaches, but the yellow jackets love them. 
So the yellow jackets get in there, they can't get out, and it keeps them away from the hives. And the way <clears throat> the way that they're made, they're low to the ground. And yellow jackets, you know, they buzz along the ground looking for food. You see one there looking for food, and they can smell that peach from them holes, and they'll just go in there, and they can't get back out. So anyway, yeah, I'm not going to touch that uh, nest up there. They're they're not bothering anything. So that was a little less exciting than what I had anticipated. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for uh, this video. I'll uh, come back later. I'm going to try and inspect Hive 2 here later today when it warms up. And maybe Hive 4 over at the other location. And uh, we'll see what's going on with them. All right, bye for now.